write the sentences. And and I am in first grade. Today I will be doing my science experiment. My sister, my sister Sydney, will be assisting me with my experiment. The purpose of this experiment is to determine determine if all food sinks or floats. A hypothesis is simply as an educated guess. An educated guess. My guess is that some food will sink and some food will float. Let's get started with our research. This is a lemon. Wait, this is a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lemon. Okay. I think it will float. Just. I think it will float. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. What happened? The lemon floats. Okay, you want to mark it back there and see what happened on the back? Get the marker right there. Get the marker right there, Sam. Where do I check it, Daddy? Well, put it at next to the lemon. Yeah, because it floats, right? Okay. What's next? Mm. You don't have to read them, you can just do the ones. Which next, Sammy? This is a avocado. Avocado, what do you think it's gonna do? I think it's gonna. What do you think, Sid? I think it's gonna float. Okay. Oh, it's floating. Cool. Mark it up down, Sam. Okay, go next to the next one right away. Quickly, Sam. What do you think, Sid? I think it's going to float. Yeah? Okay, it floated. Good job. Were you right, Sam? Yeah. What's next? I have a hot, a real egg. A fresh egg, a right? A fresh egg. Okay. What do you think it's going to do? I think it's going to sink. Okay. Me too. Oh, wow. You're right. So put it, ask for sinking. Get it out, Sid, can you get it out? Okay, what's next? Um, boiled egg. What do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna sink. Okay, what do you think, Sid? Sink. Mm -mm. Cool, cool, cool. What else is next? Next I have a rock. What do you think is gonna happen? Okay, try it out. Oh, uh, it's kind of in the middle. Look at that. It's floating though, right? Okay, good job. So tell us what happened here. So you had your hypothesis. Okay, we'll put it on there. So in conclusion, right? What happened for your conclusion? Your hypothesis about the lemon. What was the hypothesis? The lemon was going to fl float, right? And did it float? So, okay, so Sammy, can you tell me what the purpose of this, of the, now, remember the hypothesis we were talking about, the hypothesis, was, does all food float? Remember, we talked about the hypothesis, like this, if we can do, also say, we can also ask a question, all, this, if someone says, all food floats, is that true or false? It's false. It's false, right? And how do we know that? Because we, what do we do? We, we, we did the, so research. with DR, we did the research, right? Yeah, and what was your conclusion? My conclusion was my some of it floats and some, some of, of it. Some of them floats and some of them sink. Okay, can we also talk about really quickly like why things float and why things sink? Um, 
We talked about buoyancy. Remember buoyancy? Buoyancy, and that makes it lighter. Yeah, right? That, that means they're lighter than what? The item's lighter than? The water. The water, that's right. And then what about, why do things sink? Because they're more dense. Dense. Remember density? So does a bowling, why does a bowling ball sink and a basketball doesn't sink? Because the basketball has more buoyancy. More buoyancy. Uh, more buoyancy, and the, um, and the bowling ball has more depth. Great. And then can you tell me why a big boat, like the one that's up there, why that floats and why, why it doesn't sink? Because it has more buoyancy. So, uh, so the big boat, even though it's heavy and it's big, it has a lot, it's, it's very buoyant, right? So it's very hollow on the inside, that's why it floats, right? Mm -hmm. And what, what does that mean? That means that, the, that means that it's lighter than the water, right? Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about that? It's lighter than the water. Alright, so what else are you going to say now? Any conclusions? Anything else you want to tell the class? Say thank you for what? Thank you for watching. Good job.